power prices are expected to go up by a minimum of 3% as a result of the fall in water levels at the Masinga Hydropower Dam. And as government now moves to switch on thermal generators, which run on diesel and heavy fuel oil, an upswing in the fuel cost adjustment aspect of the power bill coupled with the slide of the shilling will definitely hit consumers hard in the pocket. Abby Agina tells us more. An aerial view of the expansive Masinga Dam in Machakos County gives one a sense of the dire drought situation in the country. The water levels have fallen drastically by 8 meters from a high of 56 meters to about 48 meters currently. Uh, the water levels, the maximum is about 10, 56 when it is full. Currently we are doing 10, 48. Where we are standing is supposed to be water, as you can see. Uh, we are still generating with 1048, but what we have done is to scale it down so that we build the water levels. This essentially will trigger a rise in the cost of power based on the fuel cost charge and forex adjustment. It cuts across the 3% will be in terms of the, 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 the tariff in terms of the Tamil FCC. It will be about 3%, which cuts across. Io senti akuogezeka. Tukiendelea kukiwa na hiu kame mpaka March, mwezi ya March, diyo itaongezeka maximum to 3.52, 3 shillings and 52 cents. Currently, the fuel cost charge is at 2 shillings and 85 cents per kilowatt hour and has been projected to rise in the coming months to 3 shillings and 25 cents if the dry spell persists. With our weathermen or women, which we rely also, which is globally and also locally. We are, we are foreseeing that there may be some short rains and rains around March. So that means that we'll reduce our use of hydros. <laughs> the energy CS says if the rains fail in April, they are contemplating completely shutting down a single dam, which generates a total of 600 megawatts. But if it goes down, to 10.37, where we were, Masinga will be close. We have seen for ourselves the challenges that you're having here. Uh, one of the challenges, of course, is uh, the reduced levels that we are seeing everywhere. But I think, Waziri, uh, I, I want to uh, encourage you to proceed and look for uh, uh, solutions to this problem. Because we can't we can be having the same problem every year when we don't have lanes. With the fall of water levels at one of Kenya's biggest dams, Masinga Dam signals perhaps tougher times for consumers as power prices are set to go up. Kenya currently has an installed energy capacity of 2,300 megawatts with hydro being the chief energy source. With plans to further diversify the energy mix yet to fully bear fruit, both domestic and commercial consumers will now have to brace themselves for tough times ahead. Abiyagina, Katian Business.